So after over 20 years of buildup and over 13 different X-Men movies, we finally have Deadpool and Wolverine as the culmination of this era. And now it's time to answer the question, has Deadpool and Wolverine saved the MCU? Does it live up to the hype? And in my opinion, it absolutely does not. This movie was very disappointing from start to finish, to be honest with you guys, and honestly, I would compare it to like a jock or a dumb blonde. It's pretty to look at on the outside. You can have fun with the fan service and the cameos inside of this movie, but there's nothing in that brain. Just like when you look past the cameos and fan service in this movie, there's nothing in the story. The plot's paper thin, the character arcs and motivations are paper thin, and the rest of the emotional aspects of this movie are nearly non-existent. So without further ado, let's get into this review. That rhyme, don't hate the player, hate the game. And first off, I have to address the fact that they literally disrespected and dishonored the ending of the Logan movie in 2017, which is the greatest X-Men related movie ever we've seen in live action. They disrespected in the first parts of the movie where Deadpool basically uses the dead body of Hugh Jackman's Wolverine's body from the Logan movie and uses his bones, you know, his adamantium skeleton bones and for an action sequence and a gag reel with some music behind it and some corny jokes throughout the entire sequence. It is ridiculous. And Ryan Reynolds literally says the words in the movie, hey, we're going to dishonor the ending of Logan, and he laughs about it. It is absurd. How can you disrespect an ending that was that beautiful and that amazing for the character, and then that last shot of that grave, you ruin all of that for what? A cheap pop from the audience and a couple crowd reactions? It's stupid. First off, the backstory for this version of Wolverine they use in this movie, which first off, I don't even know why the heck they had to choose this Wolverine specifically, but anyways, this Wolverine's backstory is that in his universe, he went to a bar and left the X-Men, and while he left the X-Men, the humans, as they call them, whatever they are, they just call them the humans, show up and killed all the other remaining X-Men inside of his timeline. And because Wolverine was at the bar, he blames himself because he believes he could have saved them. Now, why and how in the world are humans wiping out all of the X-Men in your timeline, but Wolverine is still alive somehow? And on top of that, how are people like Magneto, Professor X, Jean Grey, uh, what, a Beast possibly, right? Cyclops, all these people, and they died to humans, and it's unspecified how those humans got to the X-Men and killed them? I, 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 my mind-blowingly dumb but then from pretty much the point on where he's fighting Deadpool and then after that he stops to fight Deadpool and he agrees to help him from that moment on nothing really changes he's still at the end of the movie is still making jokes and saying hey I don't really want to be around you Wade but then Wade brings him in last second nothing really happens really with Wolverine's character arc and that brings me to another thing Wolverine being in this movie is partly pointless. His arc is very surface level, and it's nowhere near the quality of stuff we've already seen. That brings me to my next point, kind of with Ryan Reynolds' Deadpool. His character is pretty much stagnant and very similar in story to Deadpool 2. He pretty much is trying to move on from Vanessa and do all these things right, and then they do a six-year time jump and don't explain any of the downward spiral of the character of Deadpool, his personal life, none of that. All they tell you is that pretty much he's lost his way as a hero and Vanessa left him. We could have had so much more detail that would have made his story that much more engaging, but instead we just skip through pretty much all of that and just move on. It is stupid. And that brings me to another point. Wolverine and Deadpool is essentially pointless, guys, okay? If you want the best performance from Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, go watch Logan. If you want the best arc for Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, go watch Logan or Wolverine or Days of Futures Past. All of those movies are better for the character of Wolverine than this movie is, okay? And it's not even close. And Deadpool is the same character in every movie, but Ryan Reynolds is at his best, I'd say, here performance-wise. I'll give him that. He was very funny in the movie, right? But other than that... What is the actual point of this movie happening? And I just want to reiterate and make it clear that the reason I say this movie is pointless is because if Wolverine as a character and as a performer has already been better in other movies, and Ryan Reynolds is pretty much playing the same character, and the plot is so dumb that it doesn't warrant any of this happening, it almost makes it feel like it's just a waste of time and an excuse to have Deadpool and Wolverine teaming up in a superhero movie together. That's just how I feel. Now, I actually had to write down a list of all the plot holes in this movie that I thought were egregious, so let's run down the list. First off, multiversal anchors make absolutely no sense. In this movie, they, they introduce the idea of multiversal anchors. You're telling me, basically, this is what they say, that because one specific person can be so important to a timeline in the multiverse that when they're dead or removed from that timeline anyhow, you know, any way, shape, or form, that means that the timeline basically dies and is done. What in the world is that logic? You're telling me, for example, that if Iron Man is an anchor in some other reality and he happens to pass away at 60 years old or 70 years old or whatever, that that universe just goes to shreds and dies? What? 
That logic is dumb. It's almost as dumb as the canon thing in Across the Spider-Verse, where if Miles Morales or whoever, you know, isn't in one universe, if Uncle Ben dies or whatever the heck, then the whole universe goes to shreds. It's stupid. How is one specific person out of 8 billion determining the, the reality of that timeline? It's dumb. It's ridiculous. Next plot point is the simple fact, right? How in the world is the villain of this movie Paradox even in this film? He has no motivations, he has no reasoning for why he's there, no backstory, but his goal is to turn on the TVA and control the multiverse and end the, end the timelines and do all this other stuff? What? And also, where is this ending of Time Machine, this machine that can ruin all the timelines and destroy all the timelines? Where is that coming from? Why does it exist? And how do we know that in the other billions of multiverses that no one has tried to make a machine like this? You're telling me Thanos with a gauntlet or a Doctor Doom or a Kang, someone like that who's trying to get control of all these timelines would have never thought of a device like this? Really, bro? It's stupid. Well, you see what I'm saying? When you think about this movie for more than two minutes, it makes no sense. Because you telling me that this is the only person who thought about this was some dumb TVA agent rather than a Doctor Doom or a Kang or a Thor Thanos or any of those people? And if they tried to make this device, why hasn't it worked? You're telling me in every single time like they tried to make it, they got stopped? Of course not. If in the MCU it took the Avengers over 14 million tries to beat Thanos just one time, I'm pretty sure that in these billions of other timelines that characters like Thanos, Kang, Doctor Doom, etc., are a lot stronger and can definitely get this job done and make this machine so there's no excuse for this and a couple more plot holes is the fact that why in the world are they picking this specific version of wolverine in the first place makes no sense why in the world do they have to go and ruin the ending of the logan movie and go dishonor the ending of that movie for what reason even though they knew the wolverine was already dead in that timeline and they still went there anyways that's another thing that i found was stupid another problem is the fact that at the end of this movie, right, when you have Cassandra Nova pretty much with the sling ring and the reality stone and the time stone and all that stuff, how in the world does she not just immediately kill Deadpool or Wolverine? It's dumb. If you have the chance to kill them and stop them from being the ones that stop you from achieving your ultimate goal, which switches five times throughout the movie of, oh, first I want to, I wanna, you know, conquer this wasteland, then I want to go kill the TVA, then I want to own all these timelines and destroy it all. What is your goal? What is that? Paradox already sucks as a villain, and Cassandra Nova, the performance is good by Emma Corrin, I'll say that, but the actual character is so paper-thin written, it's embarrassing. Now that I've talked about the story, the plot, and the villains all pretty much being mediocre slash bad, now it's time to talk about the cameos which were incredibly underwhelming in this movie, and that's pretty much all this movie is built off of as cameos in the first place, and they couldn't even get that right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's ridiculous. And then here's the thing, right? The cameos in this movie from start to finish are ridiculous. Where are the X-Men in this movie? 20 years of X-Men Fox-related build-up, and there's no Storm, there's no Magneto, there's no Professor X, there's no Beast, there's no Cyclops, there's no Nightcrawler, there's no Jean Grey. What is this movie? What 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 is going on here? How do you prevent you mentioned Professor X 50 times in this movie and Magneto neither of them show up storm mentioned doesn't show up beast and Cyclops same thing rogue even wasn't even in this movie you have no X-Men in this movie the real core X-Men besides Wolverine. That's all you got, and it's ridiculous. We are literally 20 years plus into this franchise and this is the culmination and we can't even get any of those cameos. But then we get Electra, Electra by Jennifer Garner. We get Human Torch who shows up and Chris Evans is playing him, which was cool to see. I'll give you that. And then he dies in two minutes. Just like Reed Richards in a multiverse of madness. Like, what is this vendetta Marvel has against the Fantastic Four where they just show up and die in the multiverse? <laughs> like, well, they might as well not show up. Gambit shows up. He was a pretty fun watch. Blade was a fun watch. I will give you that. He was a very fun watch. Okay, Wesley Snipes played him good and he even made the joke about the Blade movie not being able to get off the ground, so he's going to be the only Blade for the foreseeable future. That was good stuff. You even have the whole cameo thing where he was reflected in, you know, Wolverine's uh, his claws or whatnot, but he doesn't even show up and then he yells inside of the, you know, the, the claws, but it's just a reflection and it's probably repurposed footage it looks like from 2017 Thor Ragnarok. Are you kidding me? The best cameo in this movie, however, and this is where I'm going to transition to the positives of this movie, Henry Cavill as Wolverine was absolutely sick. He looked incredible. The build, the outfit, the punch he did on Deadpool, it was absolutely awesome. And they even had him with a cigar. This was the highlight of all the cameos in the movie for me, and it was my personal favorite. Even though he had like a minute or two of screen time, 
I personally loved it. Now to talk about other things I liked about this movie, I actually think that the humor was actually pretty well written and pretty good. They poked fun at the MCU, they poked a little fun at Warner Bros with the Henry Cavill Wolverine sequence, and they also had some other funny dialogue where Deadpool was pretty much talking about the past of the MCU and how it's not been good the last couple years. He makes a lot of pop culture references like he always does, and they actually tend to land for the most part inside of this movie. Obviously some of the jokes are corny and they didn't land, but it was, it was pretty funny for the most part. I also think that this movie is especially entertaining and actually fun i like to make fun of how people in the reviewer space just say hey it's fun this movie was fun it was fun it was fun but this movie was actually pretty fun to watch man it was entertaining from pretty much from start to finish it didn't slog or have many pacing problems and i think that that was definitely a plus for this movie and a step in the right direction when it comes to that and i also think that overall when it comes to this movie Pretty much from start to finish, I think that the Easter eggs, the intrigue of the Easter eggs, and the interconnectivity of Deadpool into the new MCU with, you know, uh, Wolverine, even though they're not technically in the main MCU timeline, I guess they're in the MCU allegedly now, but at the end of the day, them being in this movie the entire time, the chemistry between Hugh Jackman and Wolverine was absolutely, or sorry, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds Deadpool was absolutely great. They have really good chemistry on screen, and I think that all the funny scenes between them, all the scenes where they're yelling at each other, raging at each other, were good. A Along with this is another thing that I thought was good. The action in this movie, for the most part, is very solid. I think it's very brutal. It's very gory. Some of the gore is kind of CGI, so it looks really fake. But, you know, it is what it is at the end of the day, right? And some of the action scenes are shot very weird by the director, Sean Levy. So it's a little bit weird to see how things work because you can't really focus on one specific part of the action because there's so much going on at once in one frame. So I didn't like that part. But overall, the action was nice. They had Wolverine actually moving like a beast when he's crawling on the ground up to Deadpool. He stabbed him and beating him up it was honestly pretty fun okay i'll be honest the action was good the movie was entertaining for the most part the cgi was mid like the scene where human torch is flying in the sky you can tell those flames are fake and that action scene is fake but i mean hey it is what it is it's expected now it's marvel the mcu the vfx haven't been great for years and i will say that because the acting is pretty strong throughout most of the movie some of the scenes and i really mean emphasis on very few some of the scenes where they're trying to get serious like the one with wolverine and laura in the forest that scene works because it's serious there's no joke coming right after it and I think that in those scenes some of the tone was pretty consistent for the most part and some of the moments they wanted to land actually landed from a story perspective so that was good that's why I say the story is not completely garbage but it's borderlining on garbage when you realize that they could have done a lot more with it and the fact that what they actually did wasn't really developed that much and overall when it comes to the implications of this movie on the grander MCU I think people are really blowing that out of proportion this movie does not have massive significance on the future of the MCU because by the end of it they're still in Deadpool's timeline they're not even in uh in the main MCU timeline right so there's nothing crazy going on with that as as we you know as currently constructed right Right? But at the end of the day, that's pretty much all I have to say about this movie. There's not a lot to this movie because, like I said, the plot has a bunch of holes and doesn't make any sense. The story is paper thin and dang near non-existent for most of the characters and the motivations. The villains are not good. Uh, the cameos, I thought, were very underwhelming. But overall, it is a fun, entertaining movie with great humor and some great scenes and some pretty good action. So, I mean, it does some of the stuff that it needs to be a good movie or at least a serviceable movie. But then there's all the things that make it back down to being that mid-level, you know, such bad kind of movie but i do think it's average maybe slightly above average i would give it in like the 6 to 6.5 range it's like a c-tier marvel movie right it's a step up from stuff like eternals and black widow and thor 4 and ant-man 3 all that garbage it's not a garbage movie i'll give it that okay so that's cool however it wasn't great and it wasn't even that good to begin with so overall middle of the pack mcu c-tier movie not super impressed with i'm kind of disappointed this is 20 years of build-up and this is the product we got as a 6 out of 10 that's not good However, let me know what you thought about the movie. I'm sure it's going to be fun for a lot of different people. If you love Deadpool, if you love Wolverine, if you're looking for a different type of flavor from the MCU, you will get some of that in this movie, and you probably will walk out with a big smile on your face. There were some Wolverine cosplayers that were in the theater with me. Uh, everyone seemed to love the movie that I saw it with in the theater. It's like 100 people in there. So yeah, you're going to probably enjoy this movie if you're a diehard MCU Wolverine, Logan, Deadpool fan, whatever. So you're going to like that. But at the end of the day, let me know what you thought about this movie in the comment section below and as always i hope if you guys are going to see it you have a great time and have a phenomenal day peace out